Okay, I'm Amber. Are you ready to have fun with us? <laughs> it's time to count, so gather round. With lots of numbers to be found. Count with me until you're done. Count the pause one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You! You did it all alone Without my help all on your own Counting is a lot of fun Count the boys one by one Bye! as a feather. Hmm. Uh, Humphrey, you're not exactly light. Well, not as light as a feather anyway. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're as light as a feather because... Oh, because you are a feather. Oh, well, Humphrey, if you're a feather, I should be able to blow on you and you should float through the air. Ready? Hmm, you didn't float, Humphrey Bee Bear. Oh, that's because of your problem. Oh, what problem? Oh, feather floatitis. Oh, dear. Sounds very serious. Um, I'm sure that there's a cure for feather floatitis. There is a cure. Oh, it's wind. Okay. It's time to say goodbye to your yeah. feather flotitis, Humphrey B. Feather. <laughs> Ready? <sighs> hmm. Not cured at all. I think I might need some more wind. Oh, you've got an idea. Start back there, run up, and blow on you. Well, it's worth a try. Okay. Okay, here comes the wind. I'm a hurricane, a whirlwind, a willy willy, a tornado. <laughs> Sorry, I'm free. Here I come. running knocked the wind out of me. I don't think that taking a run-up is going to whip up a strong wind. <laughs> oh no, you will be cured of feather flow Titus. I have another idea. Humphrey. One feather flotitis cure coming up. Ready? <laughs> oh, hooray! Humphrey's been cured of his feather flotitis. He is now a beautiful floating feather. Humphrey? got something we'd like to ask you, something we'd like to know. Humphrey, won't you tell to us what we would like to know? What makes the rain come falling down and what makes all the snow? He said, clap your hands and turn your body round. Open up your fingers wide and try to touch the ground. Then stamp your feet, put your hands upon your head. Close one eye and stand on one leg and then go to bed. Humphrey, won't you tell to 
us, for we would like to know why the grass is always green and what makes the flowers grow. Please sit up your hands and turn your body round. Open up your fingers wide and try to touch the ground. Then step your feet, put your hands upon your head. Close one eye and stand on one leg and then go to bed. Humphrey, won't you tell to us, for we would like to know. to us, but we would like to know why you always wear a hat, a waistcoat and a bow. Please clap your hands and turn your body round. Open up your fingers wide and try to touch the ground. Then step your feet, put your hands upon your head. Close one eye and stand on one leg and then go to bed. Close one eye and stand on one leg and then go to bed. <laughs> oh, I might come Floating with you, Humphrey. Red and yellow, pink and green, purple, orange, blue. We can pick a color too. Any color will do. Time to pick today's color. Today's color is orange. Red and yellow, pink and green. Sometimes it's day, sometimes it's night, sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's bright. That's why we need a clock to tell us the time. Sometimes we play, sometimes we sleep, sometimes we eat, sometimes we bathe. That's why we need a clock to tell us the time. The clock has numbers on its face to tell us the time. I'm one o'clock, I'm two o'clock, I'm three o'clock. I'm four, I'm five, I'm six, I'm seven o'clock, I'm eight o'clock, I'm nine o'clock, I'm ten, I'm eleven, I'm twelve. The clock has hands upon its face to tell us the time. Look where the hands are pointing and you can tell the time. The big hands pointing down, the little hands past the two. Do you know what time it is? Tell me if you can. It's half past two. That's right. The big hand's on the six and the little hand's just past the two. It's half past two. They're pop, 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 popping. These shapes are pop, pop, popping. Can you see the shape that pop, pop, pops right up today? Say it with me. Star. One more time. Star. They pop, 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 popping. These shapes are pop, pop, popping. They pop, 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 popping. Pop. Can you guess what I am, Humphrey? You can. Are you sure? Because I can always give you a clue. Oh, yes, I am a tree. How did you guess so quickly? Oh, I've got a twig in my head. Humphrey, were you tricking me? Or were you twigging me? <laughs> okay, your turn now. I'll guess what you're doing. Um... A balloon? Not a balloon. But you're something in the sky. Hmm. Not a balloon, but something in the sky. Well, it can't be a bird. Humphrey hasn't got any wings. <laughs> what else is up in the sky? I know. You're a cloud. <laughs> oh, but what type of cloud are you? 
Well, that's hard. Hmm. Oh, a fluffy cloud. <laughs> Hooray for me. Yes, show me another one. Hmm. That looks like a cloud again. Oh, it is, but it's a bit different. Hmm. Maybe Humphrey's another type of cloud. But what other types of clouds are up in the sky? <laughs> oh, I know. You're a rain cloud. When rain clouds rain, the rain comes down on my head. Oh, I don't mind a bit of rain, Humphrey. I've actually got my umbrella. Can you come under my umbrella? Humphrey, you're a rain cloud. Oh, you're not anymore. You're Humphrey again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Humphrey, the sun's coming out. I don't think we need our umbrella. Incy, wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the raindrops and watched for Incy out. Incy Wincy comes out again. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the raindrops and washed for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the raindrops and washed for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Hmm, how many legs does a spider have? You know? Eight. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the raindrops and washed for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Oh, the rain's completely stopped, Humphrey. <laughs> okay, why don't you do another cloud? And I'll guess. Hi, hello, it's time to help our muscles grow. We'll stretch, bend, jump and hop. Hi, hello, it's time to join the play team show. Can you tell me something that flies high up in the air? Airplanes, fairies, and kites. Butterflies all fly high up in the air. Let's stretch out our wings and fly around. We can even flap them as if we're a bird. Flapping your wings, let's move around in the play gym circle. Are you flying high up in the air? <laughs> the opposite to up? Down. down! The opposite to up is down. So let's move down on the ground and do some crawling. Crawling, crawling. <laughs> down on the ground. Oh, this is so much fun. We should move into our play gym song. Are you ready, Dee? To do some high flying. Up, up, up in the air we're flying. Down, down, down on the ground we crawl. Up, up, up in the air birds are soaring. Down, down, down on the ground we look so small. Flying. Let's fly high up in the air. In the air we're flying, we are wiggling our fingers up high. Up, 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 
and see our hands waving, ready to catch a cloud floating by. Did you catch a cloud? Yes! yes. some very high flying and some very low crawling. Did you fly like this? Or did you fly like this? And when you were crawling, did you get really, really low? Yeah. <laughs> well done, everyone. Time to go. Wave goodbye and touch your toes. See you next time on the Play Gym Show. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Humphrey, I didn't see you. I was looking for something on the ground. <laughs> oh, you were looking for something up there. What were you looking for up there? Oh, the moon. Oh, Humphrey, it's kind of hard to see the moon inside. You, you really need to go outside in the magic forest to see the moon at night. Oh, you need to see the moon so that you can aim for the moon. Oh. Well, what do you need to aim for the moon for? You built a rocket. Wow, Humphrey, I'm really impressed. Okay, show me. Oh, what a great rocket. Show me how it works. Seat belts on. Oh, and that's your telescope for finding the moon. Oh, that's the problem. You can't find the moon. Well, Humphrey, can I have a look through your telescope? <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Well, I can see your ceiling. And I can see your lights. And I can see a leftover honey crackle. <laughs> oh, Humphrey. I thought we were trying to find the moon, remember? <laughs> well, yes, I think the moon is up there, but like I said, it's really hard to see the moon inside. It needs to be at night, and you need to be outside. Oh, it's not dark yet. Well, there is one more way to find the moon. Sit down in your rocket. Now close your eyes. And I'd like you to think of the night sky. Do you see the twinkling stars? And just around the corner, there's the moon. Do you see it? <laughs> you do. 
Okay, Humphrey, I think it's time to blast off in your rocket to the moon. Are you ready? I'll count down to blast off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! It's time to count, so gather round With lots of numbers to be found Count with me until you're done Count the pause one by one One, two, three, four You! Again! One, two, three, four Well done! You did it all alone Without my help all on your own Counting is a lot of fun Count the pause There. All done. Oh, hi. It's me, Anthony. I'm writing a letter to Humphrey. Have you ever sent someone a letter? <laughs> I folded the letter and put it into the envelope. But I uh, think there's something missing on this envelope. Can you see what's missing? A stamp! <laughs> That's what's missing. <laughs> Thanks. One stamp. There. All done. <laughs> now all I need to do is post it. I hope Humphrey gets it soon. Now all I have to do is put the letter in the post box and I'm done. <laughs> I know I just sent Humphrey my letter, but I was hoping that Humphrey would have sent me a reply by now. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait a day or two. Hmm. Hey, I know a way to send Humphrey a letter instantly, and I may even get an instant reply. Love and honey hugs, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, Anthony. <laughs> I'm sending Humphrey an email from my computer. I've typed the letter. Now all I need to do is click this button and <laughs> message sent. <laughs> Done. Humphrey should have my email by now. It's that quick. All I need to do is wait for Humphrey to reply, and then I'll... Did you hear that? That means that I have an email. I hope it's from Humphrey. It is from Humphrey. It says, Hi, Anthony. I'm about to have some honey sandwiches for lunch. Do you want to come over and have some sandwiches? Then we can go to the Magic Forest Cinema and watch a movie. Love and double honey hugs, Humphrey. Wow. Well, an email was definitely quicker than my written letter. So if you want a way to keep in contact with your friends, like Humphrey, an email is quick and easy. Well, I better go because honey sandwiches sound great. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> They're pop, 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 popping. These shapes are pop, pop, popping. Can you see the shape that pop, pop, pops right up today? Oval. Say it with me. Oval. One more time. Oval. They're pop, 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 popping. These shapes are pop, pop, popping. They pop, 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 popping. Pop. Humphrey, this is the best idea. Oh, yes, lots of yummy food, yummy drink in our moon picnic. <laughs> oh, and a beautiful view. From the moon, we can see the planet Earth. That's where we live. And if I look hard enough, wow. yes, I can see the magic forest. Can you see it too, Humphrey? Well, yes, it is a long way off, but it's 
you look really, really hard, I'm sure you'll see the magic forest. Oh, yes, aren't the oceans beautiful? So blue. Oh, oh, you can see the magic forest. And yes, it is very green. That's because of all of the trees. Oh. Oh, and we can see you. <laughs> You're so clever, Humphrey. Humphrey, won't you talk to us? For we would like to know what makes the rain come falling down and what makes all the snow. So clap your hands and turn your body round. Open up your fingers wide and try to touch the ground. Then stamp your feet, put your hands upon your head. to us for we would like to know why the grass is always green and what makes the flowers grow so you say clap your hands and turn your body round open up your fingers wide and try to touch the ground then step your feet put your hands upon your head close when i am stand on one leg and then go to bed humphrey won't you tell to us for we would like to had lots of yummy food and drink, but I think it might be time for us to go now. <laughs> <laughs>